Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below. I've gotten a handful of questions over the past couple months. What happened to this bike, my R1200 GS Rally? And I wanted to let those of you that were interested to know that I still have it, but I have transformed this bike from an off-road adventure bike into a comfortable touring bike. And there's a few reasons for that that I'll go through. And then I've done a handful, a few modifications to make it more of that uh, comfortable touring bike. So stick around if this interests you at all. Some of the reasons I stopped riding this off-road is one is it is extremely heavy. These can be taken off-road. There's some very capable riders that do amazing things on these. I'm not one of those riders. And I had gotten myself into a couple situations that because I ride by myself, it could have gone very bad. How do I get this turned around? Thankfully it didn't, but it really made me think that I need to reconsider this as an off-road adventure bike. Another thing that happened is the front shock on this, on the telelever had um, failed, started leaking, and the cost of replacement, if I had to pay for it myself and it wasn't covered under warranty, was gonna be very expensive. And that made me pause as well, that if I continue riding this off-road, the wear and tear that it's gonna take is going to empty my wallet and my bank account to where it was down to nothing. So I really didn't wanna be in that position. These are great bikes. I think they're fantastic for touring, and I didn't wanna get rid of it because I still do a lot of that touring. I don't ride it all of the time, but if I know I'm gonna be doing a trip, say to ride over the Golden Gate Bridge, it's all gonna be pavement, or along the Pacific Coast Highway, that's all gonna be pavement. What better bike to take than something like this? I don't have a sport bike, I have a KTM 390 Adventure, so this still gets plenty of miles, it still gets its use. So I'm gonna go over a couple of the modifications I made to make it a more comfortable touring bike. They were pretty minor. Taking this from an off-road adventure bike to a touring bike doesn't take much, but it is a fantastic bike for that type of riding. And in my opinion, for the average rider, it's better suited to be a touring bike than it really is to be an off-road adventure bike. So let's talk about the modifications that I've made. The first is I've gone to more of a road-oriented front tire. I put the Metzler Torrents on. I did that because it has a little bit of dirt road capability. If there's some campgrounds, I might wanna take some forest roads to get to, but it has good road handling. It has a rounded profile. The tread is very block, it's very big. There's a lot of contact to the road. I'm trying to wear out my Dunlop Trail Max mission. When that's gone, I'm going to put a Torrance on the back as well. I like the tread compound and it's, it has a good road profile with a little bit of, of forest roads. The other thing that I've done is I've put a larger windscreen on. I had a, a much shorter one, but because I'm sitting behind that for hours on end, hundreds of miles on end, I put that on so that it would get the wind up over my head and get it off my shoulders so I could sit more comfortably on the bike all day long, day after day after day. Now, the other thing that's very, very obvious is I removed the soft luggage off of this bike and replaced it with hard luggage. Now, thankfully, I have a Tusk rack. I've had it um, almost since the point that I got the bike back in 2017. And I just put those panniers on because they were inexpensive. They went on really easily and they work for what I need it. One of the reasons I did that was because I've been taking the bike out to the coast, going to the beach, parking the motorcycle in urban areas. And I wanted something that was a little bit more secure than soft luggage. So it might just be more of a, a state of mind than it is a, an actuality, but I like being able to lock my jacket up. If I'm taking my riding pants off, put my riding pants in there, things that I don't want just taken off the bike. So I did put hard luggage on. The last thing that I did to make this the uh, comfortable touring bike is I had bar risers on it. I took the bar risers off. I got the bars back down. And riding this bike sitting with bar risers, it can be very tiring on the shoulders. So by lowering the handlebars back down, it was in a much more comfortable, or it is a much more comfortable position for just average everyday road riding, long distance riding, even uh, cornering, handling that type of riding. So I wanted to get the bars back down. So 
yeah, I think those are all the modifications that I made. I still have the bike uh, because there were some questions, but I use it for touring. I don't always do a lot of filming when I do that type of touring because a lot of other people do that. And I don't know, I'm usually very focused on getting places. So you don't see a lot of filming from that. And when I'm doing the off-road riding, it's a lot easier to stop, film, I'm camping. So it makes it a lot easier doing that as well. So yeah, if you have one of these bikes or thinking about one of these bikes, these bikes are great for touring, comfortable touring, long distance, crunching tons of miles. Yeah, one more thing that I forgot to add is this bike is great for riding two up if, uh, if that's something that you do. It has plenty of power for it, enough size and you can put a ton of luggage on this if you need to. If you're not quite an intermediate rider, even an intermediate rider, maybe give some consideration whether or not you wanna take this 550 plus pound bike off-road doing adventure off-road riding. So I hope you found this useful if you have one of these bikes. If you're wondering how to convert it from being an uh, off-road adventure bike to a touring bike and what I did, uh, you found some use in this. Thanks for watching. Get out, do some riding, do some touring, do some camping, and I will see you out there.